आंसर जुट जाए कम हो जाए और खुदा से कहे क्या खुदा मैं तेरी आवाज सुनने के लिए हाजिर हूँ यहाँ मौजूद हूँ तो मेरे साथ अपने बंदा के सीना से कलाम कर रहा हूँ हम कलाम हो रहा हूँ ताकि मैं बर्तन पा सकू खुदा के कारण खुदा के मंसूब सीने पर आएंगे और खुदा के सामने गौर हो गए इंसान का दिल चल नहीं बल्कि उससे पहले को दिल चाहिए जो है, जो है, जो है, मेरे बाप तेरा शुरू करते हैं इस वक्त का इंतजार था अब वो वक्त आ गया है तेरे मंसूस से अपने अजीजल कदर तेरे खादम से तेरे मंसूर जो मैन ऑफ गॉड है के वसीला से और उनकी मंदरजम तेरी खादमा के लिए हुआ है आए आए मेहरबान की हजूरी और मामूरी चाहिए सारे माहौल पर तेरा इख्तियार और तेरा और तेरा कब्ज हुआ चाहिए बंदी को अल्फाज मिले और वो अल्फाज लोल कुदस की कुबे से दिलों को तोड़ने वाले हैं तेरे खादर को अल्फाज मिले जितने अपने मंसूब को दे दिया है अब उसे बयान करने की तौफी आपके बेटे उसी के नाम से मानते हैं बोलो के नाम की बोलो के नाम की
Hello. Hello, brother. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Are we ready for the message? Okay. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Salam, can everyone hear me? Yes, brother, I hear you. Salam G. Can everyone see me? Huda Apko Baraka Day. Huda Apko Baraka Day. Mere Nam Pastor Philip Johnson Hey. Mera naam Pastor Philip Johnson hai. Aaj mein aapko Yesu Masih ki talim dunga. Aaj mein aapko Yesu Masih ki talim dunga. Shall we pray? Khudawan Yesu Masih ke Mayame Hum is din kelie Shuka Gazahe Jo apne hame navazahe Is mulakat par Naze dali Am ah hame barkade Apne Kalam Kelie Hum Se Bat Keri Yesu Kinam Pa Amen. Amen. I would like to read from Luke chapter 13 and verses 11 through 13. Okay. Luke chapter 13 and verses 11 through 13. Luke chapter 13, Usi Giani, I pray. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. And was bowed together and could in no wise lift herself up. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose. From thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Today, I will speak to you from the subject, the power of Jesus Christ can set you free. Here we have our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as he was often found to do, 
teaching the people in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. I can only imagine being taught personally by Jesus himself. The word of God, Jesus, teaching the word of God, the Old Testament law, to reveal the word of God, God himself, to the people. Can you imagine how profound it would be to listen to Jesus? How much of a blessing it would be to hear the words of life drip from his lips? To be in the presence of God and miss the power of his presence would be devastating to anyone. I want you to know that anytime the presence of God shows up, God is always trying to teach you something about himself. And anytime God is teaching you something, there is something he knows that you need for your life right now. This is why I love God so much. He cares about us so much that when his presence manifests, he is always trying to help us, encourage us, bless, and keep his people. Amen. So Jesus is teaching and the people are listening. Then all of a sudden, a woman comes to Jesus with a problem. The Bible does not say that she had an infirmity. It says she had a spirit of infirmity. Which means that there was something deeper than just a physical sickness that was ailing her. Perhaps she had a problem in her mind that was troubling her. Perhaps it was hopelessness that she was battling. Maybe it was an internal war 
going on within her. Perhaps it was a past hurt that she couldn't let go of. Maybe indeed it was a sickness that affected her not only physically, but it began to wear her down emotionally, spiritually, and mentally, so much so to where she didn't even have the strength to lift herself up. Have you ever experienced anything like this? Where you were so heartbroken with grief, you couldn't even lift yourself up. So beaten down by the circumstances of your life that you couldn't even lift yourself up. So overcome with emotional pain from loss, sickness, and the hard realities of life where you struggle to smile, struggle to feel joy, struggle to see any hope for yourself, for your children and your family? Have you ever felt this? Have you ever felt like this? The Bible says that she had this infirmity for 18 years. That is a long time to be stuck in the same place. Eighteen years is a significant portion of time to be down. Eighteen years is a long time to be unhappy. Eighteen years is a long time to not have joy or peace. Eighteen years is too long. But then she finds a man named Jesus. This Jesus has the power to heal her no matter how long she's been hurting. This Jesus has the power to save her no matter how long she's been lost. This Jesus has the power to fix her no matter how long she's been broken. This Jesus has the power to free her, no matter how long she's been bound. This Jesus has the power to change her life, no matter how bad it has been. Hallelujah. And this Jesus is the same Jesus that is present in this meeting today. And just like he did for that woman back there, 
he can do for you too. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But in order for you to experience this freedom and this miracle today, there are three things that must happen. And these are the three things that happen in our text. First, Jesus called to her. Today, Jesus is calling you. He is calling you to come to him. He is calling you to give your life to him. He is calling you to repent of your sins, turn your back on all of the wrong you've ever done, said, or thought, and surrender your life to him. He is calling you to be baptized in the mighty name of Jesus to have all of your sins washed away. Jesus Christ is calling you today. Amen. Second, she came to him. As Jesus called her, the woman did not ignore his voice. She didn't let her pain cause her to be hopeless, but as she heard the voice of Jesus, she knew it was the voice of healing. She knew his, hallelujah. She knew his voice was the voice of victory. She knew his voice was the voice of power. And so she came to him. You must hear his voice today. Let me say that again. You must hear his voice today. You must come to Jesus. Don't ignore the voice of the preacher today, but respond by saying amen and come to Jesus. Amen. And thirdly, as Jesus touched her, he told her she was loosed, and immediately she stood up straight. You 
have to let Jesus touch you. You have to let the warm embrace of his presence and his power fill you with his spirit. God wants you to have his Holy Spirit inside of you. And as he fills you with his spirit, you will begin to speak in the language of the Holy Spirit. Everybody can receive it. In fact, I want you to repeat these words right now. Everyone raise your hands and say this with me. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. I want to hear everybody say that. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. I want everybody to repent of their sins and ask God to come into their heart. And I promise you, brothers and sisters, as you begin to praise God, that God will come into your heart. And so I want everybody to open your mouth and say, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, brothers and sisters, say it with me. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise will continually be in my mouth. And as you say this prayer, I believe by faith that God will fill you with his spirit. And when he does, brothers and sisters, for the first time in your life, you will be free, happy, whole, saved, full of joy, full of peace, full of power, and full of the Spirit of God. My brothers and sisters, let God set you free today. Repent of your sins. Be baptized today in the name of Jesus and let God fill you with his Holy Spirit. Amen.
Now let's clap those hands and let's give God a great praise all over this place. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's give God a great praise all over this house. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you for your word, God. Yes, God, we praise you for your word. We honor you today, God, for the power of your presence and your Holy Spirit. And I pray, God, that you would move on somebody's heart. I pray right now, God, that you would save someone before it's everlasting too late. Let your will be done. You are God over Pakistan. Let your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands and give God praise all over this place. Huda Apko Barkade. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. 